Advocacy, Community, Education, Resources, Rewards. Learn more at thervadvisor.com. This is the RV Advisor Podcast with your host, Tom Alexander. Get all the latest information, trends, advice from experts, stories from the road, and more in the world of recreational vehicles. Now, here's Tom. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the RV Advisor Podcast. I'm Tom Alexander, and joining me today from Harvest Hosts, it's Lisa Manning. Hi, Lisa. Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm great. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Uh, you're speaking to us today from. Uh, the great state of Kentucky, specifically uh, Central Kentucky, and yeah. um, and and uh, you are you are the head of host and member success. Well, that is a title that that you know, boy, it just sounds like you know it's a lot to live up to. There's a lot <laughs> a lot of things you got to do to keep people happy. But uh, I can't think of any better job than to try to make people happy all the time. So there yeah, you go. Yeah, that's that is terrific. So so what does a head of host and members success do exactly well um i oversee all of our member success team which is anybody when you send an email or you contact us on the website mm -hmm. it is all of our incoming phone calls our incoming um, conversations through email or the contact form on our website and you know just helping everybody be successful in the program and helping you know people figure out how to use our website and how to find you know hosts that work for them on their trips and you know, try to make the program work really, really well as a, from a member standpoint. And then from a host standpoint, I have a team that works on host success. So we onboard all of the new hosts that come into our program and we teach them how to use the website and teach them how to log in. And we just, this is so much fun. A couple months ago, we just implemented a new online request to stay system. So before you would call the host as a member, you'd call the host and you would say, Hey, do you have availability? Well, now we have over 50% of our hosts who are actually using the online system. Mm. So you can go and look at their calendar and see who has availability before you ever even request to stay. And then you can just press a button, request to stay. The host can press a button and accept your stay. And so we help onboard the host to know how to use that system. So that's, you know, and just answering questions that they have about the system and kind of trying to mediate a little bit between the members and hosts and find out what we can do from a member perspective to make the hosts happy and what we can do from a um, host perspective to make the members happy. So trying to play mediator sometimes and yeah, all in the middle one, to make sure everybody is working well with the program. Yeah, like kind of one big happy family. And uh, <laughs> right. that, yeah, yeah. And and Harvest Host, it's, a, it's such a great idea. Now you guys have been around uh, 11 years now and um and and it 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 really is a pretty innovative concept in 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 getting people to some real pick spots around the country why don't you share a little bit for those folks that may not be completely familiar with what harvest host does tell us a little bit about it so we are a member-based program, um, a membership-based program, and so you buy an annual membership from Harvest Host, and you we will connect you as an RVer. We will connect you with farms, breweries, golf courses if you upgrade to include the golf course plan, um, wineries, and lots of special attractions, different kinds of museums, aeronautical museums. Um, we have an automo automobile museum down in Florida. Um, we have a cleaning museum. We have a vacuum cleaner museum. We have the RV museum. So lots of different kind of attractions, caves and animal sanctuaries, different kinds of fun attractions in addition to the wineries, breweries and farms that you can go and you can spend one overnight without any camping fees. And in return, we just ask that you make a purchase from your host mm -hmm. to thank them for their hospitality and to support small business. So it's sort of been my catchphrase. Um, you know, we have lots of other uh, things that we focus on with the company, but my catchphrase for the company has really been that we support small business one RV at a time. And small, small business, in my opinion, is the, is the heartbeat of, um, you know, America and Canada. And so we have hosts in both America and Canada. And, you know, we're hoping that you visit all of those hosts as you're traveling from one place to another. And yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that sounds, that sounds great. It's, it's just, it's uh, uh, you know, getting around to different spots. In fact, I, I you know, 
I want to talk about a few pick spots and some places that uh, maybe you yourself have been or you've heard back from visitors, uh, you know, as well. And, and it's, it's, uh, it, it's, you know, I know that there's, there's some really, really cool places to visit. And we see behind you, for those folks watching, I mean, we, we have an audio version of this show as well. But for those folks watching the video, you can see the logo there in the back, Harvest Hosts. And it's a big, uh, looks like a big vineyard and a bottle of wine combined uh, on wheels. And uh, so <laughs> wherever you want to go uh, to, you know, the, some of these wineries are just spectacular. And, uh, you know, and just an incredibly uh, restful place to, to visit and, and uh, kind of cool your heels for a little while and enjoy. Well, so, and what a better way to see the country than, you know, if you're a wine aficionado and you just want to go visit or, you know, we have some, you know, uh, beer people out there who love yep. to, you know, have, have a glass of beer. And so what a great way to see the country is to stop at a winery and learn how the wine processing um, is done and learn how, you know, the beer, how to make beer and all the fun stuff that, you know, so you learn about a farm and how does a farm work and learn about all those things and see the country at the same time, instead of stopping at a big box store or, you know, an overnight at a restaurant, you can have an overnight at a winery, enjoy a great glass of wine or a wine tasting, enjoy, you know, some beer or go visit an, a museum and see some fun history while you're traveling the country. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's terrific. Uh, my guest is Lisa Manning. She's the head of host and member of success for Harvest Host. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with more with Lisa and uh, learn, learn a, a few things about some cool destinations. This is the RV Advisor Podcast. Back in just a moment. The RV Advisor was created for you to protect your rights as an RV enthusiast and arm you with the knowledge to navigate the complex RV industry. There's strength in numbers, and that's why we've built a nationwide network of RV owners empowering you with the advice you can trust at RVAdvisor.com. We are back on the RV Advisor Podcast. I'm Tom Alexander. My guest is Lisa Manning. Lisa is the head of host and member success for Harvest Host. And I'm taking a look at the website, kind of looking through here, Lisa, a lot of beautiful stuff and great pictures and things that uh, you can check out. It's just, it's hard. It's very simple. Harvesthost.com. Harvesthosts, plural, dot com. And uh, you can see how to, to join. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But I know that there is, um, you know, uh, uh, there's always pick spots, you know, that you like to go. But let's let's target, let's highlight one uh, that you've heard about and and uh, and hear hear back from folks that visit and, and they enjoy it. So let's. I'm going to turn it over to you. Well, we have so many. We have, um, I mean, just like every kind of farm that you could ever imagine. We have honey farms and we have um, alp lots of alpaca farms and um, lots of, as I said, lots of animal refugees and stuff like that. So many, many different types of farms and lots of different kinds of wineries, breweries, all that. Well, probably one of my favorite stories about wineries is the Pillsbury Wine Company, company which is in uh, Wilcox, Arizona. And Sam Pillsbury was a director and he decided that he was going to buy this little plot of land in Arizona. And his friends said, hey, like, you're never going to make a winery out of this little tiny plot of land in Arizona. And he said, watch me. And he started creating wine and, um, you know, had studied it for years and got some people to help and studied wine. And he and Terry, um, that person that's like his right hand person there, they create wine on property and they have won a ridiculous amount of awards, like lots and lots of awards for creating just wonderful wine. Mm. And he's down in Wilcox. So it's kind of fun to think, you know, somebody's had a career directing films and movies and stuff like that, and then just totally changed and got a different direction and had really great success with that too. So it's just kind of a lot of fun to, he's a great person. Terry's really great to work with there. And it's just a fun place to visit, but we have every kind of host that you could think about. We've got some new ones that are coming on board rock climbing. Yeah. Uh, if you enjoy doing some, you know, fun stuff, we're, you know, doing some kind of stuff like that. 
Right. Wow. That is, that's great. And you know, you don't think, I don't think the first place your mind goes is Arizona for being a, a wine producing state. Exactly. Uh, but, but, you know, you always first is first and foremost is, is, is California, of course, Napa Valley and Sonoma County and those kinds of places, but uh, Arizona, we learn something new every day. He yeah. has the first wine show he went to. I feel like I, I this could be slightly off because it's been a few years since we talked to him, but I feel like the first year that he went to the wine show, he won like 14 awards. Um, wow. Yeah. So he just did just an amazing something right. Job. Yeah. So, and they're really fun to work with too. And, and it's kind of remote. So you're out there all by yourself and, yeah. you know, maybe another RV on property. But I think that's the great part about Harvest Hosts is there are, we do have a few hosts that will, that have, you know, 10, 15 spots. And so there'll be more of a conglomeration of people, but the majority of time it's, you know, one to four spots and they're straddled over the property. And so you go there and you have this great experience and you are not close to another RV. You have open space and you have wonderful views to wake up to and, you know, beautiful sunsets and sunrises and, you know, calm and peace and wine delivered to your RV. What more could you ask for? I mean, it, does it get better than that? I, 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 I think not. Uh, that, that's, that's absolutely terrific. Um, and, and, and let, you know, I know that we, uh, we've had the good fortune uh, here at the RV Advisor to partner up with you guys and uh, have an alliance, uh, an affiliation with Harvest Hosts. And I want to share uh, where, first off, uh, where, you know, the best way to uh, join uh, Harvest Hosts, as well as uh, some coupon information. Well, I'm sure you'll put a link to your um, thing in, in the podcast notes, but they can go to Harvest Hosts, and that has an S on the end, it's plural, harvesthosts.com, and they can enter in capital letters RV Advisor, all one word, RV Advisor, into the box, and it's the discount code is on the second page of of registration and they will get 15% off of their membership. Memberships right now are $99 for an annual membership to our regular host program and then $139 if they want to add golf. So they can add for an extra $40 a year they can add golf and they can travel around if they're if they enjoy golfing they can go and stay at a golf course, play around a round of golf or play nine holes or go out to the putting green and just enjoy their time there golfing yeah. and stay at a golf course overnight. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun, and uh, I'm in I'm in uh, you know desperate need of a, a, a little time off. So well, uh, I got to think. Our about members it. for the Harvest Host members, we actually are partners with you guys. So in Thank our, you. if you are a Harvest Host member and you're listening to us, you can go to the Harvest Host website, and in your membership portal, there's an area that talks about discounts, and so we have a discount back to you guys to RV Advisor, so they can join RV Advisor and become a part of your community also. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, working hand in hand. Absolutely. With our friends at, uh, at Harvest Host. Well, Lisa, it has been a, a lot of fun chatting with you and uh, some really great information there and, and something to think about for you folks, uh, perhaps that don't yet have a membership with Harvest Host. Uh, it's really, really a great, great platform, great program, service, uh, everything that they provide is just absolutely terrific. And, uh, uh, and, 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 I'm telling you, you know, some of these places that uh, you can go, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll never forget. They're just, they're, they're wonderful locations all across the United States and Canada for that matter. Yep. So Lisa Manning is the head of host and member success. I, I, I got to keep reading that, that name, that <laughs> title, because I, I just can't some, yeah, I can't quite yet commit it to memory. I'm going to work on that for the next time you come on, <laughs> but well, thank you, Lisa. Thank Thanks for your time. Thanks for having us. And I hope everybody out there in RV land is having a great summer so far. And we look forward to hosting you at one of our host locations. Terrific. We'll be back right after these words. Buying an RV is an exciting moment, like buying a new house. You should inspect the RV and the contracts thoroughly. You may not know what to look for, and that's where the RV Advisor comes in. GG Enter experts are here for you at RVAdvisor.com. Hi, 
everybody. Welcome back to the RV Advisor Podcast. I'm Tom Alexander, and of course, I am joined by our guest coordinator. It is Neve Carizaco. Hey, Neve. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Doing well, thank you. Always great to see you. And uh, uh, I know that you're getting ready to go on the road. Um, I sure am. I've kind of finished mapping out where we want to go and uh-huh. places we want to see and cool photos we can take with the RV Advisor um trailer and things like that so yeah getting very excited that is terrific and and, and, and any place uh, any destination specifically you're uh, targeting looking forward to yes so we're hoping to hit up fish eating creek this coming week um it is a place that we hold near and dear to our hearts we've gone many times before mm-hmm. um and we have a great relationship there um with the owners of that campground so we're going to hopefully do some fun giveaways and just spread the word and then from there we'll be heading up north um and just making stops along the way but our destination will be crystal river and homosassa and that type of area for now wow that's great that that sounds like a lot of fun and uh yeah boy i I should try to maybe i can ride with you in storage or something you know underneath you know sounds great yeah oh sure there'll be plenty of room for me down there (laughs) You know, I'll stay, I'll stay, I'll just camp out there with the fishing gear. I'll be good. Um, <laughs> no, you know, I, you know, I kid around with you a lot. We go back and forth on text and preparation for the shows. We're always going back and forth. And I always say, boy, I, I really need to take a vacation. Cause I, I, uh, you know, I, 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 look, I'm not, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm not a, uh, one of my, our, one of our respected uh hard work laborers on on sitting on a roof laying tar or something you know i'm not one of those guys and Mm -hmm. hats off to people that work that hard every day i couldn't do it i'd collapse but Mm -hmm. um so i shouldn't complain because i get to just sit here and talk to people all day but i i've gotten i've gotten i've gotten to the point where i'm forgetting you know, sometimes which interview I'm doing, what day of the week it is. And I'm, I'm looking at my- Well, there is, there is a lot of logistics to it, in fairness, to give you credit. <laughs> there is a lot to it as far as yeah. lining up and times and um, time zones and people's names and backstories and everything. So there is a yeah, lot to it, in it's, fairness. It's a different kind of, it's a different kind of work. It's not, it's not difficult physically, but it is, uh, it, it, it can be eye crossing, uh, mentally sometimes. Mm-hmm. And that's why I think I need to just, uh, hit the decompress button and, uh, just yeah. chill out, but i who's complaining. Listen, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain. I love doing this. I'm having a great time. Um, and so you're getting ready to hit the road. That is fantastic. Mm-hmm. And, uh, taking the family with you, of course, that's and cool. I'm sure they're gonna really have a good time as well. And you know, uh, your little guy Cole is is hitting that age now where he start. He'll probably start remembering these little moments. You know, little. I hope so. Yeah, he'll, I really do hope so. Yeah, yeah. You know, he'd start to like. Yeah, I kind of have a recollection of that. You know, someday yeah. when he's like twenty five, he'll say, "Oh, I remember that." You know. Yeah. And of course, your you got as uh, our viewers and listeners know, you have one on the way. One on the way. Uh, and. Uh, it's September, right? Yeah. Well, it'll probably be the end of August. End I think they're August. they're pushing for the end of August now. Okay. So, uh, okay. yeah, I seem to have and big babies. So uh, <laughs> she she'll probably get an eviction notice. <laughs> ah, an eviction notice. I love it. Um, and and, and you feel every feeling well. Mom's feeling good. Yeah, can't Excellent. complain. No complaints. Good for you. I'm glad to hear it. And we know it's a little girl on the way. So yeah. uh, that is that is absolutely terrific. We're all awaiting the day we welcome her uh, into the RV it advisor, nice. into your family, and into the RV advisor family. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's that's it. We just wanted to let folks know what's going on, and yeah. of course, uh, make sure to visit our sites when you get a chance: the RVadvisor.com and RVACA.org. And uh, that's simply to uh, register your unit. You can do it right there at RVACA.org. For Neve Carizaco, I'm Tom Alexander. We'll see you next time. So long, everybody.